What's up everyone, Karu here, and yes, you read that right. I am retiring my beloved 2023 VCore 95. I played some great tennis with this bad boy this year, but it's time for a change. So let's get it out of the way. What am I switching to? And it's this guy right here. As you can see, it's the Yonex Percept lineup, but it might not be the one that you're expecting. This is actually the Percept 100D. Yeah, I bet you weren't expecting that. And no, I'm not just copying Marcos. It's a different racket than his. But in today's video, I wanna tell you why I'm switching to the Percept 100D, how I think the Percept 100D will help my game moving forward, how I'm going to customize it to my own liking, and why I think this racket is actually quite the sleeper uh, in Yonex's lineup. So of course, by now you guys know I'm playing on tour again, and that means constantly trying to get better, find edges of your opponents. And in 2024, I want to lean into one of my biggest strengths on a tennis court, which is my ball striking. You guys watch me here on the channel, you guys know I'm not necessarily the most powerful player in the world. I don't have the fastest hands to create a lot of spin and kind of hit, you know, forehands like Rafa or Carlos, but I'm a clean ball striker. I got good timing, which allows me to play close to the baseline, right? Control, really control the baseline, take time away from my opponents and also hit those like laser shots, you know, kind of closer to, to the net, but really push my opponents around the court, really move them. Just think of me as a Walmart version of Agassi. <laughs> And because of that, I'm looking for something that will allow me to play that style with more confidence. You guys know I love the VCore 95. I highly recommend it to a lot of people, but it is a racket that I feel that it performs at its best uh, when you're trying to create more shape with the ball, when you're trying being a little bit more aggressive with your hands, create more spin, um, just in general, shape the ball up and down a little bit more. And that's what the V-Core lineup is at the end of the day. It's more geared towards lots of spin and shape. On the other hand, the Percept 100D is great for driving the ball, keeping it a little bit lower, just the way I like it, the way I see the court. It gives me a lot more confidence to take balls on the rise because of the tighter string pattern and obviously the bigger, bigger head size. And it just gives me more confidence that I can execute that style of tennis over and over and over to apply pressure on the opponent. Um, and especially when I'm inside the court dominating to, to stay aggressive and trust my shot. Nice. And now playing a couple weeks with this, another area of my game that I really love this frame for is returning. If I had to say the one place I never really loved the VCore 95 was for returning. Um, I thought it was a little bit erratic. Again, the launch angle is a bit high. I like to drive through the court. Uh, and maybe sometimes I had to put my hands a little bit more than I, I wanted. But with the 100D, I just kind of trust how the ball is going to come off a little bit more. Again, it's a bit more linear. Um, so it allows me to be a bit more aggressive and not hold back at all on the returns. Plus 100 square inches, so I have you know, a little bit more room to work with, especially if I'm stretched out um, and it's a difficult return. All in all, I just think this racket is going to help me fulfill my vision for how I want to play next year. I really want to dominate players with my court positioning, with my ball striking, taking time away, you know, kind of like the Agassi, now Bendian way of controlling the match. It's not overpowering, uh, but it's kind of relentless with especially uh, with holding the baseline and controlling the baseline. If I can have a bit more trust on that, plus you know, improving a bit my serve, improving my returns, even by small percentages, that makes a huge difference on tour. And if I can put it all, all of that together, watch out tour. And if you wanna watch me play with the Percept, I have a treat for you. This Friday, December 15th, I'm playing the Pac-12 Showdown presented by Improve and My Tennis HQ. Marcos Giron, Bradley Klon, Clay Thompson, and myself will be playing an exhibition match at the Beverly Hills Tennis Club, and we'll be live streaming it right here on the channel. We're celebrating Improve's first year of being live with this awesome event. If you're serious about improving your game, you should totally check out the My Tennis HQ School on the Improve app. There's thousands of action items there that will help you level up your game, and they're 
all handpicked by me so you can trust your source. Improve is investing in my professional career and helping me get to the highest level I can get. If you love what I do here on the channel, you wanna support me, the best thing you can do is sign up for our school. I'll leave a link down below. And don't forget, mark your calendars, December 15th at 5 p.m. Pacific time, the Pac-12 showdown with a few legends of SoCal tennis. Live stream here on the channel, 5 p.m. Pacific time, December 15th. Don't miss out. So in terms of modification, I'm keeping it fairly stock, stock grip. I'm not adding leather grip, nothing to it. The only thing I'm doing is adding lead tape right here at the top, just like I had it on my V-Core 95. I've really gotten used to that setup because it keeps the racket maneuverable and, and kind of light through the air, but there's a lot of stability at contact and I, I kind of love that feel really. Plus it just really helps me on my serve, just that wrist snap at the top, uh, that extra bit of weight. So that's all I'm doing. Really, I think it all in all is like around 335 grams with everything. So why the Percept 100D versus I guess the more commonly used Percepts, the 97 versions. And for me, basically comes down to one thing, string pattern. I've always liked this, this lineup from Yonex even before it was per Percept, but um, the string patterns never match my game. Um, they either have it in, in 1619 or in 1820. And for me, 1619 is too open. The balls fly too much on me when I try to drive and play the style that I like. And the 1820 is kind of the opposite. It's a bit too dense. And then I just feel like I don't, don't get enough spin on it or I have to overdo it to get the amount of spin that I'm comfortable with. So the 1819 string pattern um, is really something that sold me on it because it's the squares are basically just a little bit tighter uh, than my 1620 V-Core 95, which allows me to have just a little bit more confidence on that drive, that ball that I want to really, you know, make it penetrate through the court, um, but still, you know, wide enough that I'm getting the rotation that I need. Basically, the combination between the 100 square inches and the 1819 creates this ball trajectory um, that is very consistent for my game. Visually, I really like how the ball comes off my racket. I really trust how it comes off my racket like on a very consistent basis. And honestly, if you're in the market for a new racket, I really think you should give the Percept 100D a go. I think this frame is made for modern tennis. Uh, in my opinion, this is the head speed of the Onyx lineup. Crisp feel, controllable power, big head size and sweet spot, easy to swing through the air and highly customizable to your needs. Pair this bad boy up with K-pop or K-pro and man, you have a weapon in your hands. But yeah, I'm really loving this frame. I was not expecting to make any gear changes at all this off season. But once I saw the specs and again, kind of trying to visualize how I want to play tennis next year, um, I wanted to just give it a go. I just got one to, to test it out and I immediately loved it. Um, and now I've played for, for some time with it and it's really suiting my game. And again, slowly creating that visual that I had in my head uh, for how I wanted to play tennis. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And again, don't miss out our live event on Friday the 15th at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Giron, Klon, Thompson, and Cell battling out live here on the channel for your entertainment. So shout out to Improve for organizing that, for helping me play professional tennis. If you guys haven't signed up for my school yet, we'll leave a link down below. Sign up for our Improve school right now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.